In the midst of the pandemic, our team at Olson Zaltman was approached by a group of students at Wharton. They were working to get a bold COVID relief initiative off the ground, and they hoped that our metaphorical research into the pandemic's effect on the American psyche could help them to transform their fundraising mission. We had a couple of classmates that were doctors. It didn't really seem like it was coming to us yet, but then we had doctors right in San Mateo County, which is where a bunch of us live, telling us like the situation is not so great and we have this massive shortage. These are people we trust and have really good relationships with. And we said, man, we gotta, we've got to do something. A, a bunch of us at that point could project like, you know, if the, the first wave takes out all those first line responders, like who's gonna be there when, when things get like really, really critical. If you look at the, the larger picture, we need 300 million masks a month and we're at less than a drop in the bucket. We know that the government will eventually uh, figure out a way to ensure the enough PPE is in the hands of all of our medical practitioners. But in the meantime, we want to be almost like a ninja team to really be able to come in and um, uh, support the actual frontline workers with what they need very quickly. I followed your newsletter, got that weekly one. I think it was when it was talking about the generational millennials, boomers. Um, and I was like, damn, that seems pretty on point for like some of the stuff I'm struggling with right now. This team might be able to help us think about a better way to tell the story. What I hoped to get from it was far less than what you delivered. <laughs> the level of support and effort and uh, delivery was, was just incredibly fast from that first call. It just felt like you were kind of one of us. We got a story to tell. That was three simple words, the first wave. There were a lot of different ways you could use that metaphor, but it helped them internalize like why they were participating. And everyone was expressing their desire to want to help, but there was no clear path to help. And this GoFundMe gave them a very easy way to help by sharing it within their network, making a quick phone call. It was that release valve that people uh, got to to allow them to help. I told the story of the first wave, and we had that imagery. We raised over 200,000 uh, through a variety of methods and delivered over 300,000 masks. Um, I think it was over 60 hospitals across 15 states. That's 1,200 hospitals, you know, or hospital weeks that we've been, we've been able to enable. For those of us who um, are in healthcare, there's somewhat of a sense that, you know, the public is doing their own thing, but this really turned the tables and made us feel like, well, they're also looking out for us and taking care of us. 